earlier, I posted a video on Meta's voice box that really impressed me with its advancements in the AI audio space. Well, Google has responded with their own attempt, Audio Palm, which is a combination between the Palm 2 language model and Audio LM. And I'm covering it today, along with examples on this episode of AI Focus. But first, we're going to look at another interesting development from Meta that I think you'll find interesting. They just gave AI the first taste of human-like common sense. We get into both of these developments in great detail. So relax and prepare to learn something new about the fascinating world of AI. In order to have an artificial general intelligence, it needs to have common sense, right? We as humans and even animals obtain knowledge from just observing the world around us. We don't need someone labeling training data for us to learn things. Well, AI can do that now too. Meta's chief AI scientist, Jan LeCun, proposed an architecture last year that addressed this problem. LeCun is the mad scientist behind AI at Meta, and he has a vision to create machines that can learn internal models of how the world works so they can learn quicker, plan how to accomplish tasks, and readily adapt to unfamiliar situations. And the first AI model from Meta that delivers on this vision is iJEPA. iJEPA changes the way AI learns about the world around it, and in turn can potentially produce more human-like results because of it. But before we get into the model and what it does, let me quickly explain to you Jan LeCun's vision and how this came about. The issue Mr. LeCun presents is the fact that it can take a teenager who's never driven a car before 20 hours to learn this skill effectively, while our best autonomous driving systems require millions of pieces of labeled data and millions of reinforcement trials, and even then it's not as good as a human. So what does it take to get AI to human level capabilities? Trillions of pieces of data? Well, Lacoon says the answer is the ability to learn world models or internal models of how the world works. Lacoon says human and non-human animals seem to be able to learn enormous amounts of background knowledge about how the world works through observation and through an incomprehensibly small amount of interactions in a task-independent, unsupervised way. It can be hypothesized that this accumulated knowledge may constitute the basis for what is often called common sense. Common sense can be seen as a collection of models of the world that guide on what's plausible, likely, or impossible. Common sense allows the teenager to know that driving over snow can be dangerous, and he doesn't have to ever have driven over snow to know this. If he hears metal smashing nearby, he knows there was an accident. There's no need to see it. Last year, LeCun proposed that one of the most critical challenges in AI is the development of learning mechanisms that would allow machines to learn world models in a self-supervised way and then use those models to predict, plan, and reason. He devised an architecture composed of six modules, but the only module we'll talk about today is the world model module because it's the first and only module to be accomplished. But briefly, there's a configurator model that's in control of all other models. There's a perception model for senses, the cost module that predicts the level of discomfort for the agent, the actor model for action sequences, the short-term memory module, and finally the world model module. This module is the most complex piece of the architecture because it has to predict missing information about the world without perception and predict plausible future states of the world. The world is full of uncertainty, so this model must act as a simulator that represents multiple possible predictions. The teenager may need to anticipate what cars will do at a four-way stop sign, but he doesn't need to predict the number of leaves on a tree near a stop sign. How can a world model learn abstract representations of the world so that the important things are focused on and not the irrelevant details? How can it then make predictions in this abstract way? The answer is Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture, or JEPA. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm going to say JEPA. Simply put, the JEPA starts with two inputs and goes through a process that creates abstract representations of the inputs and then predicts differences between the abstract representations. This is a process that allows for various plausible predictions to occur during. This is the model that allows for common sense predictions. And the amazing thing is that JEPA naturally produces informative abstract representations of the input that eliminate irrelevant details automatically. This leads us to iJEPA, Meta's first real-world example that puts LeCun's vision into action. But before we get into how iJEPA changes AI forever, I want to say a quick thanks to Brilliant for supporting AI Focus. 
AI advancements have been so frequent recently and it's an exciting time to be alive. But what if you could be one of the researchers making discoveries? If I showed you where the tools were, would you use them? Well, Brilliant.org is the best way to learn math and computer science interactively. Brilliant has thousands of lessons from advanced math to AI to neural networks and more, with new lessons added monthly. Take the Artificial Neural Networks course for example. As you might know, neural networks are machines that make predictions and decisions much like our own brain. In this course, you'll get to dive into the inner workings of machines' neural networks through hands-on experience. By the end of the course, you'll be able to build one yourself. Whatever your goal, Brilliant can guide you every step of the way. I love Brilliant because it allows me to learn what I want on my own terms in an interactive way, and you can't beat that. To try everything Brilliant has to offer, free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash AI focus or click the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So what are you waiting for? Try it out now. Now back to the video. Meta is working on a series of JEPA models. Each model will give AI another new human-like quality. The work on JEPA is based on the fact that humans learn an enormous amount of background knowledge about the world by just observing it. The belief is that attaining this common sense information is key to enable learning new concepts from just a few examples, grounding and planning. But you may ask, how does AI learn now and how does iJEPA change that? Well, I'll show you. Generative architectures learn by removing part of an input, like by erasing a piece of text or image. They then try to predict the missing pixels or text. The problem with this is that the model tries to fill in every bit of missing information, but the world is naturally unpredictable. This is why we see generative models make mistakes humans would never make, because they're focused too much on irrelevant details instead of the big picture predictable concept. This is why AI generated hands always look like trash. iJEPA is here to provide the big picture concept to AI. The model's full name is Image Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture and it learns by creating an internal model of the outside world which compares abstract representations of images instead of the pixels themselves. As a result, iJEPA delivers strong performance on multiple computer vision tasks and it's more computationally efficient than other computer vision models. These representations iJEPA uses can also be used for other applications without the need for fine tuning. Meta trained a 632 million parameter visual transformer model using 16 A100 GPUs in less than three days and achieved state of the art performance. Other models take way more time to train and still achieve worse rate errors when trained on the same amount of data. Researchers have tried to create learning algorithms that capture common sense background knowledge of the world and then encode it into a digital representation for the algorithm to access later. To work, these algorithms must learn these representations in a self-supervised manner or from unlabeled data of images and sounds. So what JEPA does is predict parts of an input, like an image from a representation of other parts of the same input. This is opposed to predicting based on pixel values indirectly, which is very machine-like and unhuman. By predicting representations like a human would, the hope is that the limitations of generative approaches of large language models can be avoided as well, like those creepy hands. So iJEPA predicts missing information in an abstract way, more like a person would, as opposed to on a pixel or token level. Critical to this is something called the multi-block masking strategy as seen here. iJEPA uses a single context block to predict the representations of various target blocks originating from the same image. A context encoder processes what's visible and passes it to a predictor that predicts representations of the missing parts of the image. The predictor then lines up its predictions with the target encoder, and voila, we have a primitive world model that can predict high-level info about unseen regions in an image. Look at this figure. The area outside of the blue box was context given, and the sketched portion represents what iJEPA predicted. It finished the top of a dog's head, filled in a bird's legs, a wolf's legs, and even filled in the other side of a building without compromising the original position of the image. And again, this is not using the generative method. iJEPA pre-training is also as computationally efficient as it is extremely cool. Only one view of the image needs to be processed by the target encoder, and only the context blocks need to be processed by the context encoder. Here you can see iJEPA outperforms pixel and token reconstruction methods on ImageNet 1K, 
Here you can see IEJEPA achieves better performance on low level vision tasks such as object counting and depth prediction when compared to other models that use handcrafted data augmentation and pre-training. In other words, IJEPA is cooler than the competition and more practical when it comes to predicting images. IJEPA shows the potential for architectures to learn image representations without extra training. But what's next for JEPA? The blog states there's interest in extending to more complex modalities, like one that could make predictions in video from a short context, and conditioning these predictions on audio or text prompts. They even say JEPA could make a move towards video understanding, something Damo achieved with its Video Llama AI that I did a video on. Regardless, this is the first step for AI to learn a general model of the world. Now we head to the other side of AI to Google, where they just created something called Audio Palm. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. Audio Palm is a large language model for speech understanding and generation. Audio Palm is a special computer system that combines two types of language models, one that understands written text and another that understands spoken words. It can do things like recognize speech and translate spoken words into different languages. The system is really cool because it can keep important details like the speaker's voice and how they say things while also knowing a lot about how language works from the text model. Researchers found that when they start with a big text model and use its knowledge to train Audio Palm, it gets even better at understanding and processing speech. The result is a model that works really well for translating speech and can even understand languages it hasn't been trained on. It can also mimic someone's voice in a different language if you give it a short recording of their speech. The Audio Palm model is designed for tasks like speech translation and speech recognition. To make it work with audio, they start with a pre-trained model that only understands text. However, they expand its capabilities by adding an extra part that can handle audio information. The overall model structure remains the same, where a sequence of both text and audio tokens is given as input, and the model can generate either text or audio tokens as output. Here's the interesting part. When dealing with audio, they convert the audio tokens back into raw audio using additional stages from the Audio LM model. This allows them to process and manipulate the audio data effectively. Audio Palm is a powerful model that combines text and audio processing to perform tasks like translating speech and recognizing spoken words. By leveraging both text and audio information, it can handle a wide range of multimodal tasks more effectively. Audio Palm is capable of speech-to-speech -speech translation, speech-to-text translation, and ASR. And now we'll look at some examples of its capabilities. First is speech-to-speech. -speech. The guest column represents the original language we want to translate. Madagascar hat einen wunderschönen Soundtrack, der im Film leider kaum zur Geltung kommt. The second column is the target language. Madagascar has a wonderful soundtrack, which is barely highlighted in the film, unfortunately. The third column is an English accented version of the audio by Audio Palm 2. Madagascar has a beautiful soundtrack, which, unfortunately, hardly came into play in the movie. The fourth column is the Audio Palm translation with the source language accent. Madagascar has a beautiful soundtrack, which, unfortunately, hardly came into play in the movie. And the fifth column is an example without voice preservation. Madagascar has a wonderful soundtrack which unfortunately comes in use in the movie. Next is speech to text, which you can see here. Madagascar hat einen wunderschönen Soundtrack, der im Film leider kaum zur Geltung kommt. Then Google shows how Audio Palm successfully transcribes audio in different languages in this section. Madagascar hat einen wunderschönen Soundtrack, der im Film leider kaum zur Geltung kommt. Personally, I think Meta's voice box absolutely stomps on Audio Palm's face with its capabilities of advanced audio editing alone. And iJEPA further pushes the boundaries of what's capable with AI. I'd say there are plenty of W's in the chat for Meta AI. What do you think? Click that video on the screen to see Meta's voice box and let me know for yourself. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.